From a skinwalker that stalks its victims to having them chase you down on the highway. Here are the top 5 terrifying skinwalker encounters that prove that they exist. Number 5 on this list is the orange eyes. As a decently recent university graduate, this story is pretty triggering to me. User John shared his story of how a relaxing midnight stroll turned terrifying when he came face to face with two skinwalkers. According to his chilling story, John was out late one summer night. While listening to music and enjoying the cool weather, he walked near a large empty field that was adjacent to a college campus. Suddenly, he felt something staring at him. Shining his flashlight out into the darkness, he saw two sets of glowing orange eyes staring back at him. The eyes were at least seven feet off the ground and stared at him without blinking once. John made a mad dash for safety. As he was running, he turned back to see one of the creatures chasing him. John became even more frightened when he got a better glimpse of the fast-moving creature behind him. It looked like a giant wolf. Quickening his pace, John reached his home safely, but he remains fearful of the monsters he saw that night, which he believes were skinwalkers. I titled this entry Orange Eyes because that, plus the fact that they were seven feet off the ground, are the biggest things that stick out to me here. A wolf's eyes aren't typically bright orange. They can be a mild hue of that color, but I doubt that it was a mild hue if that's the first thing that stuck out to him in the night. Not to mention the fact that these creatures were seven feet off the ground and how unnatural that is. Even if for some reason a wolf stood on its hind legs, it still wouldn't be that tall. Whatever it was that was after John that evening doesn't sound like the friendliest of creatures if you ask me. He's probably pretty lucky to have made it out alive. Number four on this list is the white face. This story is especially scary because it seems like the skinwalker is actually stalking our victim. Ranker says, my roommate has told me this story a few times and I want to see if anyone else else has had similar experiences. As he tells it, he was driving home super late at night, maybe around 3 or 4 a.m. in a suburb of Phoenix, Arizona, both times that this occurred. The first time, he was driving alone on a road that has an open field to the left of it when out of nowhere, a black figure on all fours bounds up out of the field and across the road in front of his car. As soon as the figure got to the other side of the road, it stops with inhuman quickness, turns around, and looks directly at my roommate. He described the figure as looking Simeon, completely black except for the face. The creature's face was a stark white human face. Not white as in Caucasian, but white as snow. This happened again a few weeks later, but this time the creature was sitting in a tree. As his car approached, it climbed down the tree, again with inhuman quickness, bounded across the road, stopped on a dime, and turned around and made eye contact with him. This time he had a friend in the car who also saw it and began freaking out. It was the same exact thing as the first time a simian black body with a snow white expressionless human face. My roommate, ever the curious one, turned the car around and began searching for the creature, but it was nowhere to be seen. What has a totally black and creature-like body, but also a white as snow pale human face? I'll answer that one for you guys a skinwalker. Scariest part about this one, like I said earlier, is the fact that it went out of its way to find this same guy again. I find it hard to believe that he just happened to stumble upon this creature just out of coincidence. I think it's far more likely that the creature was looking out for this guy and putting itself into spots that it might run into him. Really not a pleasant thought if you think about it. Number three on this list is the white mask. This one is kind of similar to the last one we looked at, but instead of a pale white face, it seems as if the creature was wearing a white mask. Ranker says, in Hunt for the Skinwalker, George Knapp and Colm Kelleher relay the stories of those who came into contact with skinwalkers near Native American tribal lands. One account from a New Mexico highway patrol officer states that while patrolling the highways of New Mexico, he saw a skinwalker on two separate occasions. In his first encounter, a creature wearing a white mask appeared next to his window, seemingly attaching itself to the car door. But then he realized it was simply running beside the vehicle, keeping pace at highway speeds. A few days later and around the same area, he encountered the creature again. What makes this tale even more intriguing is that at least one other officer claimed to have seen the same ghoulish being while patrolling the area. Maybe it was actually a white mask that our friend saw in the previous entry instead of the white face he described. Either way, this one seems dangerous as all holy hell. To be able to run with a car going on the highway? Yeah, that is pretty far from natural, guys. 
I'd say that considering there were multiple witnesses here, this is probably some of the best proof we have that these creatures are legit. Number two on this list is No Ordinary Girl. This is a story, as you may have guessed, about a girl that probably wasn't a girl. Ranker says, the tale of terror comes all the way from Australia. While walking her dogs out in the Australian bush, a woman encountered a fearful sight. She was enjoying the trail when suddenly her two dogs started barking uncontrollably and becoming extremely agitated. Soon she saw what appeared to be a small female child no older than seven. The child had her back to the woman who was only a bit startled at first as she believed the child was just part of a camping party. However, when the girl turned around, her eyes were lifeless and entirely black. Before the woman could make a break for it, the creature let out an ear-splitting howl and ran off into the bush, never to be seen again. She was left wondering if the child she saw was someone pulling a prank on her or if it really was a shape-shifting skinwalker. She may never know. Maybe the scariest part about this one is that if this story is true, it means skinwalkers can be found outside of America. Conventional wisdom has kind of said that these creatures are only in North America, but that might not be true. If they're all the way in Australia, then they could literally be anywhere. Hopefully, it was just a prank, but based on the circumstances, I kind of doubt it. And finally, number one on this list is The Six Men. This is another story about how some type of beasts were able to keep up with a car. Ranker says, My friend's mission region had a reservation within its boundaries. However, it was relatively far from where he was serving. On one occasion, him and his mission companion were asked to travel further than usual to meet some investigators. This took them near the reservation. On their way home, their car ran out of gas and it wasn't until late at night that they were able to continue the journey home. My friend chose a different route that took him through some back roads in an attempt to get home sooner. He told us he was driving above the speed limit when he noticed movement in the woods lining the road. Because coyotes were common in the area, he took little notice at first. Then, he looked out the window and slammed on the brakes. The sudden stop jolted his companion awake who immediately wanted to know what was wrong. My friend was shaken and he said he would tell him once they got home. He asked him to say a prayer. By the time they made it home, his companion was dying to know what had happened. My friend told him, I looked down at the road next to the car and saw six men running on all fours keeping up with the car. I was driving 40 miles an hour. Six dudes on all fours keeping up with a car going 40 miles an hour. Usain Bolt, the fastest man of our generation in his best race ever, reached a top speed of 27.33 miles per hour. That's the fastest man in the world running the fastest he's ever run on two legs and he still doesn't come close to touching what the car was doing. One thing is definitely clear from doing this video guys, skinwalkers, if they are real are clearly fast as hell. And if one decides that it wants to target you, I don't know if you're going to be able to escape. But there you have it, folks. That is our list of the top five terrifying skinwalker encounters that prove they exist. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other stories you know about skinwalker encounters. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.